AP writes on classical Greece. These are either actual AP prompts or good practice ones. The first one is a 30-minute prompt on the Acropolis. And this one uh, talks about the Acropolis, the site, the audience, and the theme of transformation, or how was an outdoor location transformed, and the experience of the transformation. You want to know the Acropolis really, really well, and the Parthenon really well. So there's the Parthenon, and there's the site. A historic site, and in 480, that's where it was burned down by the Persians, and they rebuilt it by uh, Pericles. And there's uh, Athena's house, the goddess of wisdom. And there is the Acropolis, has a number of buildings, has the Parthenon, Temple of Athena, Nike, and the sacred way up to the site. And it stands on top of the hill for everybody to see. There's the sacred way, where uh, once a year they would walk and all the Athenians would walk and bring a new peplos to Athena. And that shows the people walking from the town up to the Acropolis, from the polis to the Acropolis. That's what it might have looked like. Athena would be on the inside, the people would be on the outside. And then from a distance, it would look like this. So basically, for this one, the site would be the Acropolis, and you'd want to talk about the history of the site, how the Persians burned it to the ground, and how it was rebuilt to represent the uh, golden age of Athens. The audience would be the Athenians, and probably when they were going on a religious walk to give Athena a new peplos, the function of the, uh, of the Parthenon would be it's Athena's house, and the Acropolis would be to celebrate the glory of Greece. So the history of the site would be about the Persians, and then the outdoor transformation would be how they took a military, originally a, a military fort, a historic site, and they turned it into sacred space, a place where Athena would be a, give it a treasury, and the experience would be walking from down in the polis up to the Acropolis, and that'd be the transformation of the Acropolis. Okay, uh, the next one is about um, the Parthenon sculpture, which would be this one and this one, these two. And this prompt is basically talking about this sculpture, which would have been on the Parthenon. So it's a bit more specific. It's sculptural, but it's still about the Parthenon. So this is talking about the sculptural program and how it has a religious function and a political function. So let's take a look at these two. All right, so it's this one and this one. Uh, on the religious, now just a couple of things, some pictures here. The pediment is the triangle. On the um, Parthenon would be this sculpture here. Here's the slide you have here, and here are the three goddesses. And it might have looked like that, or like that. And so the Parthenon sculpture talks about ideas and history that the Greeks valued. So let's take a look at this here. So there's the sun god. Those are the three goddesses. And these are the Ergostines, which are the regular people. And then the theme in Greek art is that the humans act, humanism, and the gods watch. So this one here, we have both. These are human Greek citizens in the art, and these are goddesses or gods watching over the Greeks. So for this one here, we go to the prompt a little more specifically. It says, why was this site chosen for the Parthenon? Because it was a sacred site. It was the place where the Persians burned it to the ground and the, re the Athenians rebuilt it. And then the sculptural program, a religious function, uh, context and visual evidence. Remember, context is information, it's not seen. So for that, anything religious would be something like these were Greek gods, like um, or Athena was the Greek goddess, and a religious function was once a year they went to give their goddess a new peplos. And then that'd be the religious function. And then the um, political function would be something about these were citizens, and that they were regular people, and once the, and citizens would go and visit uh, the Parthenon. And this political function was they were a democracy, that Greeks participated in the democracy. So then the final component is how does, how does the sculpture express important Greek ideas? And that would go back to the idea of humanism or democracy, where in Greek democracy, humans had a lot of value. In this case here, the humans are actually in the art. So those are both on the Parthenon. You want to know the Parthenon and the Acropolis really well. Okay.